Hey everybody, it is Samantha from Samantha's Designs. Welcome back to my channel. Today I was going to show you, you know, I make stitched cards as well. It's not always just um, regular A2 cards, um, but I do do some stitching as well. And here are a few I had in my stash that I haven't made into cards yet and decided I was going to make a couple into cards with you guys. Um, but here's my favorite. It's a little sampler. Isn't that pretty? And then I did this lovely little boo at the top. And this uh, seashell turned out really, really pretty. Um, I decided to go with the elephant and the stitch to sampler. But the funny part is, I end up not doing both cards with you. So we'll talk a little bit about that when we get there. Here you can see this one kind of got dirty while I was stitching it. It took me forever to finish this one, I'm going to tell you. I get in like spurts of where I really want to stitch cards and then later not so much and so it sits out and sits out and this one finally just got dirty because I had, didn't finish it very quickly but um, <clears throat> I'm going to use one of my just one of my square frames to cut it out because I didn't really want that smudge showing on the card front. I could have covered it up in other ways but I decided to do this instead today um, and I will tell you when you do this you cut it down quite a bit it's really flimsy I think this was only on like 60 pound or 65 pound or 80 pound I think 65 pound um, cardstock I had done it on the 110 so it really is it weakens it quite a bit once you cut it out this one I'm cutting out to my sampler and I do make this into a card but either I forgot to film it or lost the footage or decided <clears throat> it would be too long if I did two cards. But here you see me cutting it out. And I never show you the card I make with it. Um, you know, I've looked through my pictures. I don't even see it. So let me go hunting and see if I actually did finally make it into a card. And if so, you can find it over on my Instagram. Um, all my social media links will be in the bottom. So if you ever want to check any of that out, you're welcome to do that. Um, also... <clears throat> I am going to use liquid glue on this piece of uh, cardstock. It's purple um, to match the purple elephant, of course. And the reason I'm using the glue is I really wanted to make sure it's straight and it was everything was, you know, lined up. And you know me, I'm not good at that and don't like to take the time to get everything the way it's supposed to. So the, the liquid glue helps. It gives me a little bit of wiggle time to get it where I need it to be. And I'm just kind of smoothing it out. And it was overhanging just a little bit, so this is where my guillotine trimmer really comes in handy because I can just um, take that little piece off, and it was three layers thick, so you saw I struggled just a little bit, but it, it did the job. And I'm going to layer Mr. Elephant. <clears throat> He's so cute, isn't he cute? Um, up here, and I'm going to use a lot of foam squares to do that. Um, hi everybody, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you'll stick around, maybe subscribe, like this video, leave some comments. I love getting comments from folks that aren't trolls, because trolls are real and they do us exist, unfortunately. So, <clears throat> I'm putting this everywhere around the sides, and then some in the middle, because if you don't, it's just going to sag, because again, this is a pretty weak um, sheet here now that I have cut this out. So, yeah. I'm going to do all that and make this into a card. I'm trying to decide where exactly I'm going to, how I want this to look. Okay, so we're going to place this right down. If you notice, my, my um, pattern paper in the back is bubbling or kind of raised a little bit. Um, that's pretty typical when you use liquid glue, but it does kind of flatten back out. I usually don't have any bubbles once the glue is finally dry. And I've got some, oh, excuse me, I got some Recollections washi tape. Uh, this came in a big, huge tube of different washies that kind of go together. And this is purplish pink sparkle. And I decided to use this on this um, card. And I'm going to layer it just underneath, if I ever get to that point, underneath the top and the bottom to make it look like it's been matted a little bit. This is a great trick so you don't have to use another piece of paper. Um, it's just to use washi tape because once you layer it in the way I kind of just lay it just a little bit under the edge, it looks like it's another matte piece of paper. No one will ever, ever know. Um, so yeah, I'm going to cut the, that washi off once I get it where I want it to. And then um, 
then that just leaves a little something something because you know this car needs just a little bit more um, I feel like it's just not quite finished so what I'm gonna do um, in my Spellbinders car kits I've gotten some um, sentiments that are um, pretty thick um, the sentiments are on chipboard so I'm gonna use one of those and it's a thank you sentiment and I think it's really really pretty and again it's in that pink purplish tone so it matches quite well um, and I think it came out of my July no excuse me my August kit the art school one because this looks like the stuff that came out of the art school to me I could be wrong but yeah it's pretty thick chipboard it's already got adhesive on the back thank you for your kindness is what it says and I'm gonna put that kind of in the right lower portion and then just to finish this off I'm like okay needs one more needs just needs something and I, you know I'm putting the package back while I think, think about it and I decide to use a few pink um, or purple the purple sequins and they came from the Dollar Tree you know that's the best thing about Dollar Tree is that you can get some of these inexpensive little embellishments um, yeah their craft section these days really astounds me and I'm just like oh that's awful that's awesome because it's just the right little something something for you need for your cards and this is pretty much it for this card I'm sorry I didn't do the sampler I thought I had that footage and I thought I had done that I didn't I I really do apologize again please like please subscribe hang around with me I love making cards and I am in the middle of a pattern paper challenge that I'm taking a little break from today because I had a little issue over on the TikTok side of things not working out the way I wanted them to. So I hope you'll stick around and, you know, follow and like. Thanks so much, guys. I hope you have a wonderful day.